O Hai. Pompeii, the ancient Roman city near Naples, in the region the Campaign, buried under a layer of volcanic ash as a result of eruption of Vesuvius in the 79th year at. Now the museum under the open sky. It is entered in the UNESCO World Cultural Heritage List. Recent excavation showed that in the I millennium BB there was a settlement near the modern city of Nola and in the 7th century BB approached the mouth. The new settlement Pompeii was founded by Asta in the 6th century BB. Their name most likely goes back to Oscipump, 5, and it is known from foundation of the city that demonstrates formation of Pompeii as a result of merge of five settlements. Division into five constituencies remained also in the Roman time. According to other version the name came from the Greek pomp. A triumphal procession. On a legend of foundation of the cities of Pompeii and Herculaneum the hero Heracles that, having won against Gerion's giant, solemnly I marched on the city. The early history of the city is poorly known. The remain sources speak about collisions between Greeks and Etruscans. Sometime Pompeii belonged to godmothers, since the end of the 6th century BB was under the influence of Etruscans and entered into the union of the cities led by Capi. At the same time in 525 the Doric temple in honor of the Greek gods was built BB. After defeat of Etruscans in Keith, Syracuse in 474 BB domination in the region was won again by Greeks. In the 20th years of the 5th century BB together with other cities of the campaign Samnitum were won. During the Second Samnitsky War of a Samnita were crushed by the Roman Republic, and Pompeii about 310 BB became allies of Rome. It's a tip of the revolt of the Italic Allied cities of 988 years BB during which in the 89th year BB it was taken by Sula then it is limited in self-government and it is made the Roman colony of Colonia Cornelia Veneria Pontianorum. I took the important place on the tradeway via the Tapia. Connecting Rome and the southern Italy. In Pompeii many notable Romans had country houses. There is a proof that about 20 hundred Roman veterans were placed in the large fenced territory in the southeast part of the city with the families. It is unknown whether these parts of the city were withdrawn from their owners for this purpose. According to Tacitus, in the 59th year Ad there was a cruel slaughter between residents of Pompeii and Nazaria. Having begun with a squabble during the gladiatorial games on the Pompey arena, the conflict developed into a fight in which Pompeiates won, and among Nazariates many people died or sustained injuries. After a long trial the Senate sent responsible into exile and for 10 years forbade holding in Pompeii games. However, in the 62nd year the ban was withdrawn. The strong earthquake which occurred on February 5, 62 years ad and described, in particular, in Annals, by Tacitus became a harbinger of eruption. Disaster caused a big loss to the city, practically all constructions were in a varying degree damaged. The most part of buildings was repaired, however some maintained damages before the death of the city in the 79th year. Eruption of Vesuvius began in the afternoon on August 24. According to other data on October 24. The 79th years and lasted about a day what some remained manuscripts of letters of Plinium Lachego confirm. 
It led to death of three cities, Pompeii, Herculaneum, Stabia and several small settlements and country houses. In the course of excavation it became clear that in the cities everything remained at what was before eruption. And a multimeter thickness of ashes streets, houses with a full situation, remains of people and animals who didn't manage to escape were found. Force of eruption was such as that ashes from him reached even Egypt and Syria. From 2000 residents of Pompeii in buildings and on streets about 20 hundred people died. Most of inhabitants left the city before accident, however remains of the dead find and outside the city. Therefore the exact death toll can't be estimated. Among the dead from eruption there was Pliny the Elder, from scientific interest and from desire to help the people suffering from eruption trying to approach Vesuvius on the vessel and appeared in one of the accident centers at Stabia. The architect Domenico Fontana, laying in 1592 the channel from the Sarno River, I found a part of a city wall. In 1689 at construction of a well found the ruins of the ancient building bearing an inscription with the word Pompeii. Then however, considered that it is Pompey Veliki's country house. Excavation began only in 1748 under the leadership of R. H. al who was sure that the city found him to be a. The main works were at the time carried out in Herculaneum, in Pompeii only three sites not connected with each other were dug up. al only defines which are of art value which he sent to Royal Museum in Portici interested. Other finds were destroyed. Similar practice was stopped after a protest of a number of scientists. At the managing director F. La Vega in 1760, 1804 excavation gained other character. The explored building ceased to be filled up with the taken out soil, began to take out it out of the city. Open monuments restored, the finds which didn't go to the museum left on the place for a public inspection. The plan of excursion routes was developed. In 1763 with detection of an inscription on a pedestal of a statue it became clear that the city buried under ashes, not Stabia and Pompeii. Especially actively excavation was conducted in 1808-1814 at Murat. An important role in them was played by Carolina Bonaparte. Since 1863 Giuseppe Fiorelli directed excavation. In 1870 he found out that on the place of bodies of the people and animals buried under a layer of volcanic ash owing to an Estlevani of remains emptiness were formed. Filling in these emptiness with plaster, it was succeeded to reconstruct agonal poses of the victims of eruption. Atom excavation for the first time gained systematic character. Since 1961, and especially after an earthquake of 1980, in the city nearly one restoration works are conducted. Now about 20-23% of the territory of Pompeii aren't dug up. Walls of the Roman houses became covered by the frescoes studied mostly on the example of Pompeii, Herculaneum and Stabi from within. The German scientist Augustus Moe in 1882 offered division of the Pompey frescoes into four styles. Subsequently, with opening of other monuments, this classification was expanded on all Roman wall painting. The Vermena given here. A framework is characteristic of Pompeii, in Rome and other cities of date can differ. In 
Incrustationier structural. 150 80 years BB. It is characterized rusty. A laying or facing of walls by stones with a rough convex front surface. And the painting imitating facing by marble slabs. I rose under the influence of art of Hellenism, reproductions of the Greek pictures often meet. Architectural style. The 80th year BB, the 14th year. On smooth walls the columns, eaves, architectural compositions, landscapes creating illusion of volume and the space leaving afar were represented. In paintings there are figures of people, complex multifigured compositions are created, it is frequent on mythological plots. Egypt is veneer ornamental. Since the 14th year ad. Transition to flat ornaments in which frame pictures, usually pastoral subject, were placed. Fantastic or perspective and ornamental. Since 62 ad. There are fantastic landscapes, the represented architecture reminds theatrical sceneries, ceasing to submit to laws of physics. Pictures with the image of people become more dynamic. The Pompey Forum was the center of political, economic and religious life of the city. The area of 38 by 157 m in size surrounded during a Samnitsky era with a portico with Doric columns, and Romans paved with travertine was its basis. It was capable to contain all population of the city. Bolshaya Square was surrounded with the minor areas and also a set of buildings of various purpose. Basilica is to the south from the square and opens on it a double portico with five entrances. It was constructed in 120, 78 years BB, has the sizes of 25 by 55 M. Her central part was a peristyle and was framed with 28 Corinthian columns with a diameter of 1.10 M and about 10 M high. Originally I performed functions of the covered market, from the beginning of our era becomes the courthouse. Then in the depth of a basilica two-storied tribunal, which part remained up to now was constructed. Basilica walls are decorated with two tiers of semicolons from within. On walls the set of graffiti is left, one of them says, about the wall, I am surprised how you still didn't fail under weight of such quantity of inscriptions. Municipality buildings. Three small buildings in the southern part of a forum. In everyone I was the hall with niches and an apse, with the walls revetted with marble and decorated with statues. The western building intended for two ethyls, east for the Dumu ruling the city. Central served as the place of a meeting of municipal council. Ordo de Curianum. Commission. Venue of votes. Were located opposite to a basilica. Evmachia's building. It is constructed by the priestess Evmachia during Tiberius era. 1437 years ad. For Corporation of Fulham, Suck Noble, Weavers and Dyers making the basis of the economy of Pompierre. By the size the building didn't concede to a basilica, and in there were warehouses and business in fabrics was done. In a distant wall of the building, three apses with statues of Libya, Tiberi and the Druze. Behind the building there was Evmachia's statue. Now she is exposed in the Museum of Naples. Vespasian's Temple A small temple devoted to Vespasian's genius, the entrance to which was issued by a portico with four columns. 
to an entrance conducted two ladders on the parties from a podium with the emperor's statue. Before the temple there is an altar decorated with reliefs with the image of a ceremony of a sacrifice of a bull. Some researchers believe that initially the temple was devoted to Augustus, then consistently each emperor ruling at present and, at last, Vespasian. Temple Larov It is constructed after an earthquake 62 years ad. According to other version, I existed and before, however, it was devoted to the emperor's cult. Occupies the space of 18 by 21 m. In several niches there were statues of end specialists, in the center and altar. Natsalam, the covered food market. Consists of the area of dirty 7 by 27 m in size in which center there was a rotunda with 12 columns supporting a roof of conical shape under it the pool for live fish was located. Around the area small shops were placed. In the depth of a Matsalam there are three rather big halls, in central there were statues of the sister of Augustus Octavia and her son Mark Claudius Marcella, on the parties traded in fish and meat. Temple of Jupiter The main temple of Pompeii towered in the center of north side of a forum. It is constructed in 150 BB, probably on the place of the Etruscan temple. On a podium 3m height, 37m long and 17m wide. The double ladder conducts to a portico of 5 columns in depth and 6 wide behind which is located the hall, intended only for priests. On the parties it was decorated with a colonnade, and in depth in 3 niches were located a statue of Jupiter of times of Sulla. A 88 years BB from which only the head and also Juno and Minerva statues remained. A floor is laid out by the diamond-shaped stone plates creating effect of volume cubes. In cellars there was a treasury. The temple strongly was damaged during an earthquake 62 years. On the parties from a ladder there were two triumphal arches. Western it was probably devoted to Germanic, and east it was sorted. Near the northernmost tip of the temple there is an arch devoted to Tiberi and her niches turned on a forum, there were statues of Neron and the Druze. Along with the Doric temple at a triangular forum it is the most ancient temple of Pompeii. Some architectural details allow to date it for 575, 550 years BB. Presumably in the 2nd century BB it was reconstructed, nevertheless kept characteristic feature of the Greek architecture. A colonnade on all perimeter of the temple. The temple is turned by a main entrance on a basilica, surrounded with the portico painted with scenes from the Iliad. The temple is surrounded with 28 Corinthian columns, two of them completely remained. A floor is executed in the same equipment as half of the temple of Jupiter. Before a ladder and altar. Also bronze statue of Apollo and Diana's bust remained. Originals in the Museum of Naples in Pompeii copies. To the left of an altar at the time of Augustus the Ionic column for the sundial is erected. Fortuna Augustus's temple and Caligula's arch is in the end of Foruma Street going from Tiberius arch on the northwest. The small temple with a facade was built of four Corinthian columns at the expense of Mark Tullias du Mur on own earth. In the temple several niches for statues of Augustus, dicks of his family and, probably, Tullia.
behind the temple Foruma Street proceeds as Mercury Street. At its beginning the triumphal arch of Caligula, governed in 37, 41 years ad. But from a brick and revetted with travertine is established. The remains of facing remained only at the basis. Near an arch the equestrian statue of the emperor probably being on her is found. To the southwest from the temple of Jupiter there were public bathrooms, warehouses for trade in grain. Now archaeological finds are stored in them. And wait, the place of storage of standards of the Roman units of measure on which what was used by dealers at a forum were checked. The area of triangular shapes surrounded with a colonnade from 95 ionic columns. In a northern corner there were propyles with six ionic columns, in the east connects to the Samnitsky Palestra, the Bolshoi Theatre and, on a long ladder, to Kadraportik. On the square the Greek temple of the 6th century BB is located. So called. The Doric Temple. Devoted to Heracles, the mythical founder of the city. The temple had the sizes of 21 by 28 m, is built from a tutha, the narrow ladder conducted with south side to him. Behind the temple there was sundial. From all directions it is surrounded with a colonnade. Seven columns on short and eleven on the long party. Sanitsky Palestra. According to a post via the Telni inscription, it is constructed duum viri by Vivi Venetzi in the second half of the second century to an. From three parties she was surrounded with a portico, in south side the pedestal where awards ceremonies were held was located, from west side household rooms are attached. Because of the small sizes, by Augustus's era I ceased to accommodate everyone then the big palestra was constructed. In the center of the world surrounded with a portico with the Corinthian columns on a right circle there was a Jesus temple of the end of the second century BB restored after an earthquake 62 years on behalf of six-year-old Babidia Telsinia by his father Papa the Ampliate hoping to promote the future political career of the sun. The facade of the temple is issued by a portico in four columns in width and two in depth. On the parties there were niches with Anubis and Harpocrates as statues. Also in the temple there was a container with water from Nile. Temple of Jupiter of Melitia. The temple is built in the 3 2 century BB and devoted to Zeus, however was reconstructed and transferred to a cult of Jupiter in the 88 years BB. In a form it is identical to Isida's temple, however has deeper internal sanctuary. It is executed from a tufa, revetted with marble. Another hypothesis which is based on some finds in the territory of the temple it was devoted to Asclepius. Hadroportic. The area with a portico served as the place where the public of theatres prior to the performance gathered and during intervals. After the earthquake, 62 years which destroyed barracks of gladiators in a northern part of the city for barracks adapted. Here, the weapon which is nowadays stored in the National Museum of Naples is found. The Bolshoi Theater which became the cultural center of the city was constructed in the 3, 2 centuries BB, with use of a natural slope for placement of seats for the audience. At Augustus the theater was expanded the architect Mark Artery at the expense of Mark Alcani Ruff and Mark Alcani Itzela by creation of the superstructure over ground level supporting the top ranks of places. As a result it became capable to contain to 50 viewers. 
It could be covered with a canopy. Rings for it remained up to now. The lower several ranks. I'm a caviar. Intended for notable citizens. Two balconies overside entrances which are also constructed by Mark Artery, for priestesses and organizers of representations. The scene was decorated by the columns, eaves and statues dated by time after 62 years. Mele Theatre The Oduam constructed in the 80th year BB by Jumvair Mark Portsy and Kvink Valg was covered with a Chetriox Katni tile roof. Four lower rows separated from top the 17th a high parapet from which a part remained left. Concerning a scene. The theater accommodated about 1500 viewers. On his stage there took place musical representations and comedies. The amphitheater in Pompeii accommodating 2000 viewers was constructed about the 80th year BB along with Mele Theatre the same Dumbaira. As the sizes of 135 by 104 m and now is the most ancient known amphitheatre. Differs from the others in the fact that entrances to him were in the top part of the auditorium and also lack of basements. The exit of gladiators to the arena was carried out through a corridor directly from the street. Through the second corridor took out wounded and the killed. Places for the audience. Cavia. Were shared on three levels. The first. Is the closest to the arena, included five rows of steps and intended for the notable audience. The second level, media, consisted of 12 rows, third, summa, from 18. The topmost part separated from other zones in which conducted own ladders since Augustus intended for women. From above the amphitheater could be spread with the awning protecting the audience from the sun and a rain. The big palestra was constructed during the Roman era when the Samnitsky palestra ceased to meet needs of the growing city. I intended for gymnastic exercises and sporting events. I represented the area of 130 by 140 m surrounded from three parties with a portico with the ionic columns. The fourth party came to an amphitheater where there were entrances to a palestra destroyed by an earthquake 62 years and restored in the Opus Lateritium equipment. In the center there was a pool, 37 by 4 m from 1 m in depth in the west to 3 in the east. In the southern part the toilets cleaned with pool water. The northern wall failed at accident of the 79th year and was restored by archaeologists. The biggest, the ancient and well-remained city terms constructed in the 3rd century BB. The complex a term was located around a big trapezoid peristyle of a palestra with the racetrack and pool XXM. Nearby there were rooms for rubbing by oil and sand. For a fight. Walls of a palestra are issued in the fourth style of Zeus, Heracles and Satyr's figures remained. Men's baths had an entrance both from the street and from a palestra. In the beginning entered got to a potatory, a locker room with the arches decorated with era frescoes Flaviev. Cupids, Bacantes, trophies. Marble seats and niches for storage of clothes. Further I followed Tepidaria. Warm baths. To the left of which I was Frigidaria, the hall with the pool with cold water. 
For Tepidary I was Calderia with the pool of hot water and capacity from cold. Female baths had no frigidaria. The pool with cold water was in a locker room. But included a lacunic, a sweating room like a sauna. Between baths there were furnaces with cold, more hotly and very hot water. The smallest, however, the most graceful terms of Pompierre. Intended generally for city visitors, but not its inhabitants. Are constructed to Amviri by Lutzitzizi in the first century BB. The entrance conducted with Forum Street in a palestra of men's office. From there and also from Term Street, it was possible to pass in a poditory, from there, in Frigidaria in Tepidaria and further in Caldery with two bathtubs. The women's office consisted only of a locker room, a Tepidaria and a Calderia and also a small internal garden. On walls frescoes, for example Atlanta a Tepidaria remained. The reminding Renaissance baptistry is interesting Frigidaria. Central terms. 62 years out of book right after an earthquake, however by 1790 the pool wasn't complete, and the portico of a palestra isn't even begun. Pipes on which water was pumped already existed, however furnaces aren't put. Had a full range of holes, however only in one copy. Without division into men's and women's offices. Suburban terms were located in 100 meters behind Seagate on an artificial terrace. Because of the situation were found and plundered already in the ancient time. Their interesting feature are large windows overlooking the sea. Pools are decorated by frescoes with the image of falls and mountain caves and also mosaics. However, terms gained the greatest fame because of 16 erotic frescoes in the fourth style. Among them the only known ancient Roman image of lesbian sex. Found in the early 90s in an apoditoria. Their existence generated a hypothesis that in the building on the second floor I functioned lupinaria that, however, is rejected by the archaeologists studying terms and most of historians. Lupinari, nevertheless, was present at the city. He was found in 1862, since then was several times restored. The last restoration ended in 2006, penultimate in 1949. This two-storied building with five cubicula. Bedrooms. On each floor. In the hall of a wall at a ceiling are covered with frescoes of erotic character. In cubicula of the first floor of the stone beds. Covered by mattresses. And graffiti on walls. Besides a lupinaria in the city there were at least 25 single rooms intended for prostitution. Often they were located over wine benches. The cost of this type of service in Pompeii was to eight experts. The personnel were presented generally by slaves of the Greek or East origin. Production buildings In Pompeii 34 bakeries which were completely meeting the needs of citizens and exporting the products to the neighboring settlements are found. Pity a Prisp Bakery and a bakery on Staby Street in which five manual mills remain are most known. Millstones of two types. One motionless cone-shaped. Meter. Another in the form of hourglasses without bottom and a cover. Catalyst. Put on him from above. In a cavity of the top trench grain was filled up and it was set in motion by slaves or oxen. 
Millstones are made of volcanic breeds. Many bakeries had no counters for sale of bread, or delivering it wholesale, either carrying on houses or selling on the street from hands. Counter Thermopolia Also in Pompeii the fish garum sauce which in large numbers went for sale to other cities was produced. The whole shop on his preparation in which amphoras for transportation of a product remained as dug up. The technology was as follows. The fish cleaned from bones and pounded was kept in salty. See. Water within several weeks. Often added greens, spices, wine to her. Seasoned with it the most various dishes. In Pompeii the system, all 89 institutions are counted, was developed, is hotter than the supplying people food and allowing them to refuse preparation of her house. Many houses in Pompeii had no kitchen. Production of woolen fabrics was one of the major crafts in the city. Thirteen shops on processing of wool, seven spinning and weavers workshops, nine tinctorial are found. Wool fulling which was carried out in ancient Rome by Fulona was the major production stage. Features of technology allowed them to be engaged also in washing of clothes as citizens. Stephanie, the house reconstructed under a workshop is most widely known Pompey. Fulona dragged and washed wool from sweat of an animal and dirt in overform tubs which at Stephanie there were three. In the same place cleaning of dirty clothes was made. As detergent used soda stood one two weeks I wet which saponified the fat which is in fabric. Capacity for collecting urine, for example, stood in Evmachia's building on the forum. Having thrown wool or very dirty fabric into a tub, trampled down its legs. Saltus Philonicus, dance of full in the Seneca called this process. Then wool and fabric should have been rinsed carefully in big capacities which at Stephanie there were also three. Rather clean and delicate things in his Sonovalina were washed in the former impluvium of his Tuscan atrium. In addition, in the Sonovalina there were capacities for bleaching and painting of things. It was carried out here in ironing of clothes, for tunics there was even a special press. The frescoes which shed light on all technological process of full and are found in other Sonovalina. All them in Pompeii 18. Located on Mercury Street. Originals of the majority of works of ancient Roman art. Frescoes, mosaics. Are exposed in the National Archaeological Museum of Naples. In houses there are copies. House of the Tragic Poet is the typical Roman house of the 2nd century BB and I am famous for the inlaid floors and frescoes representing scenes from the Greek mythology. There is also a foreign term. It is called on the mosaic of a rehearsal of a tragic performance which is laid out in a floor. At an entrance to the house the mosaic with the image of a dog and with the inscription, Cave Canum, is laid out. Beware of a dog. On the parties of an entrance there were trade rooms. Walls of the atrium were decorated with Zeus and Hera's images, scenes from the Iliad. Frescoes are moved to the Archaeological Museum of Naples. House of the Surgeon. One of the most ancient Pompey houses built in the 4th, 3 centuries BB. 
I received the name because in it numerous surgical instruments are found. The facade is difficult from calcareous blocks. Internal walls are executed in the Opus Africanum equipment. Vertical designs from the alternating vertical and horizontal blocks put at each other between which the wall gave all the best smaller stones or bricks. Frescoes in the first and fourth style remained. House of the Fawn The rich house occupying space between four streets to an insul. 40 by 110 m of 300 m it is the most luxurious house in Pompier. The house of the Fawn belonged to the Cassia family. But there are also versions that it was constructed for Publia of Sula, the nephew of the conqueror of the city delivered to them at the head of Pompier. On the threshold of a main entrance to the house the mosaic inscription have is laid out. Hi. From here it was possible to pass to the Etruscan. Tuscan. Atrium which kept up to now an impluvium. The superficial pool for collecting rainwater. With rich geometrical incrustation from multicolored marble and the figurine of the dancing form which named the house. Small mosaic panels are built in in floors of living rooms. The second entrance was located to the east and conducted in the second tetrastilish. With the roof supported by four columns. The atrium intended, probably, for guests. On a facade of the house several benches were located. In the same part economic rooms and rooms where strangers were allowed were concentrated. The peristyle with columns intended for the guests and people who paid visits. Peristyle also too. Small and big. To the east from a small peristyle there were household rooms. Storeroom, kitchens and small private baths. From a big peristyle the emergency exit conducted on the street. Between Peristilium there were Triclinia and the living room with the well-known mosaic representing Alexander of Macedon's fight with Darius III. House of the Vetae Small, however richly decorated house belonging to dealers Friedman Avolvetti Conviva and Avolvetti Restitut. Wall painting is executed after 62 years in the fourth style. Through an entrance and a lobby where there is the known fresco with the image Priapa, it is possible to get to the atrium which walls are decorated with friezes with cupids and cecium. Two wings of the atrium are decorated with medallions from headed Medusa and Silen. On the right. And a fresco with the fighting roosters. At the left. One more entrance conducts with the street through farm buildings here. Larary. On the right the second small atrium with Larry is located. A separate sanctuary. The rectangular peristyle in the plan is perpendicular to the direction of a main entrance. He is decorated with Doric columns and wall painting. The peristyle is completely restored, only remain traces even beds are recreated. In a peristyle opens triclinia which walls are painted by the cupids imitating activity of people. Scenes of trade, chariots, races, processings of metals, weaving, vintage, festivals are visible. In the same place a large number of the frescoes illustrating episodes of myths, images of gods. In the hall to the left of a peristyle, the young Heracles smothering snakes. House of Gilded Cupids Graffiti on a wall of the house Poppia Beto, the relative of Poppia, the second wife Neron calls it the owner. 
the peristyle was probably used for holding theatrical performances. One of colonnades is raised like a scene. Between columns medallions and masks were suspended. The garden of a peristyle is filled with busts and bas-reliefs. In his northern part is La Raria, in southern Isida's sanctuary. Tablini and Triclinia are decorated with frescoes based on the Greek myths. Discs with cupids on gold leaves are inserted into a wall of one of rooms. Menander's house. The big house. 1800 M. Including baths, stables, trade rooms. The atrium was painted with scenes of hunting and landscapes. In the living room leaving to the atrium, scenes of falling of Troy. In one of Peristyle Niche's well remained image Menandra from which all house received a name. In 1930 more than 100 silver objects of use and a large number of coins are found in a semi-basement. Laurie Tiberton's house. The entrance to the house is in a niche, before a door two benches are put. On the parties from an entrance two trade rooms. Paintings in the atrium remained unfinished. In rooms, blank windows with the drawn view of a garden. To a peristyle there is a house sanctuary of Diana. Occupied almost all in Sula, however the most part of its area is taken away under a garden with channels and fountains. The place at the end of the channel, nearest to the house, is allocated under summer triclinia. There are frescoes with the image Purana, Thisbe and Narcissa signed with Lucius Binzit. The house is explored in 1916-1921 by five. Spinazzola. He received the name from two pre-election slogans found on building walls. One urged to vote for Laurie, the second for Tiberton. The Octavi Cavartio, whose bronze press was found in and was the owner of the house. Some historians prefer to call the house the House Octavia Cavartio. The house of the moralist is near Laurie Tiberton's house. It is called so because of inscriptions in summer triclinia. White on black. To keep clean legs and not to soil linen and beds. To respect women and to avoid obscene speeches. To abstain from anger and from fights. At the end conclusion. Otherwise come back home to yourself. In the neighborhood Panariot Surreal's house belonging to the jeweler is located. At his excavation more than 100 gemstones were found. Julius House Felix Occupies one of the biggest the cities, however only a third her is built up, two slash three represent a garden. The part of the house with bathing rooms was rented. House of Sada of Oak Flakes House of the Perfumer it was rather small house. The entrance conducted in a corridor on which parties there were two cubicula and which came to the end in the atrium. Behind the atrium there were some more rooms and a huge garden which is laid out in the first century BB on the place of five similar houses. In the garden I was located La Raria with Hercules's statue from which all house also received the name.
it is the god in 1953, 1954, however only in 1972, 1974 as a result of researches of staff of the Maryland University it is revealed that the garden intended for cultivation of plants from which spirits and fragrant oils were made. Probably, here too did garlands of flowers. As a result of these researches, the house received the second name, the House of the Perfumer. City Strengthenings Walls of Pompeii have length of 30 to 20 m, in them 7 gate. Existence of the 8th is disputable. Are constructed on all the perimeter in the 6th, 5th century BB. Then the most part of the strengthened area wasn't built up yet, and is busy with gardens and kitchen gardens. Of limestone and a tufa inside are filled with the earth. At Samnitsky domination the embankment allowing defenders to rise by top of walls and providing them additional durability was from the inside made. In the 3rd century BB this embankment is strengthened by a stone. Twelve towers from the most vulnerable northern and east parties were added to to the beginning of the 1st century BB. Gate were completely reconstructed by Jerkolansky. Are sold. During Augustus's era, having lost protective functions and having become more similar to a free-flying triumphal arch. Between them and the Vesuvian gate on a city wall the damages put with obsidional tools of Sula are visible. Pompeii from antiquity had problems with water supply. Ground waters were under the city at a depth nearly 39 meters therefore wells though existed but were not numerous. Partly the solution was promoted by existence almost in each house of an impluvium, the pool for collecting rain water, however only the aqueduct constructed at the time of Augustus. Mostly passing underground. Delivering to Pompeii water from sources in Sereno a number of about 6500 m could put an end to a lack of water. Slash day. The aqueduct conducted to the tank. K. Stella McQuay. Located at the Vesuvian Gate in the highest point of the city. 42 m above sea level. The round tank in the plan has diameter of 6 m and from above is blocked by a dome. There is he in the quadrangular building from south side decorated by three arches. Houses only of the richest citizens were connected to a water supply system, the others gathered water from the fountains. At the moment them is found 42. Located in different parts of the city. From the tank at the Vesuvian Gate water came to the city on three lead pipes with a diameter of 30 cs. The first intended for fountains, the second for a term and the third for private possession. At a lack of water the last two pipes could be blocked. In onboard stones on streets of Pompeii it is possible to meet the round through openings serving for attachment of vehicles. As the system of the sewerage in Pompeii wasn't, all sewage poured out straight on streets therefore sidewalks became at higher level than a carriageway, and across the street the similarity of the crosswalk high stones with a flat top surface that the pedestrian could pass to the other side of the street was established, without having soiled in dirt. At the same time such stones could serve as blockage to advance on streets of hostile strangers whose vehicles would have most likely other width of a track. Diomedes Country House that stood on a slope therefore at the level of the first floor of the premises grouped around an atrium and a peristyle there was a terrace surrounding the big park. On her edges turrets from which it was possible to admire the sea tower. In the center of the park there was a pool, near him summer triclinia for lunches in the open air. 
in cellars under gallery the wine cellar is arranged. The entrance to a country house conducted directly in a peristyle to the left of which there was the second small peristyle and bathing rooms. Through Tablini it was possible to get to the covered terrace performing functions a triclinia from where the sea view opened. It is investigated in 1771, 1774. It is attributed to Arius Diomede whose tomb is opposite to an entrance. On a country house 20 bodies of the dead at eruption are found, including women and children, from them 18 in the cellar, two at the door conducting from a garden to the sea. At one of them the golden ring, a silver key in 1356 cestuses is found. Will a mystery. It is founded in the 2nd century BB then several times I extended, in particular in the 68th year BB. The main entrance was turned to the road conducting from Jerkolansky Gate. Now it is open not completely therefore the entrance on a country house is carried out from the sea. Along the road there were agricultural rooms, including the room with a press for grapes. The entrance, so wide that on it the vehicle could pass, conducted in a peristyle. To the southeast from in the yard with Lowry and the Tetrastilish atrium from which it was possible to get to baths was located. From the southwest party the Tuscan atrium, from him and also partially from a peristyle connected to a peristyle, doors conducted to the numerous rooms decorated with frescoes in the second and third styles. The country house opened to the sea a rotunda terrace with two porticos on the parties. In the tablinum connecting the Tuscan atrium to a rotunda frescoes on the Egyptian motives remained. The country house only become widely known frescoes in one of rooms to the south from the atrium where it is represented, according to the most widespread version, dedication in Dionysiski mysteries, on another a ceremony of a wedding is called. In honor Pompeii the asteroid. 203. Pompey opened on September 25, 1879 by the German-American astronomer K. C. F. Peters and Clinton's observatory, the USA is called. Cinema. Last day Pompeii, 1926. The last days Pompeii, Italy, Germany, 1959. Pink Floyd, Live at Pompeii, Great Britain, 1972. The last days Pompeii. USA, Great Britain, Italy, 1984. Pompeii, Italy, 2007. The Naked Drummer. The Vesuvius Group with the Pompeii Night Song, 2008. Fires Pompeii. Dr. Toe. Release of Series, Great Britain, 2008. Pompeii. USA, Germany, 2014. Pompeii. Apocalypse. USA, 2014. Pompeii. New secrets revealed with Mary Beard. Great Britain, BBC, 2016. Gloss and Glory of Ancient Rome, the second series. Pompeii, Empire Ruins. The documentary, Korea, 2013. See also. Last Days Pompeii. Movie. Computer Games. In the Game, Darkest of Days. 2010. 
of an event of the last level are developed in Pompeii during a volcanic eruption Vesuvius. In a game timescape. Journey to Pompeii. 2000. The developer, Dreamcatcher Interactive Inc. Action of a plot happens in Pompeii to enduring destruction. In a game, Painkiller. Overdose, the scene of action of the first level is also the city of Pompeii destroyed by a volcanic eruption. Painting. Hey. Were you love? Last day Pompeii. 1833. The last day Pompeii, Carl Brulov's picture. At the beginning of the 19th century the garden of the Munich residence was decorated in the third style of painting from Pompeii. At the beginning of the 18th century of the image from frescoes from Herculaneum and Pompeii decorated even fans. Literature under an impression of a cloth of brew love, The Last Day Pompeii, Edward Bulver Lytton wrote the novel, Last Days Pompeii. Vesuvius opened a pharynx, the poem by Pushkin. Short story by Theophil Gaultier, Arius Marcella. Novel by Robert Harris Pompeii. Novel by Avenia Last Days Pompeii Tour. Music. Live at Pompeii, the movie concert of the Pink Floyd group shot in an amphitheater of Pompeii. 1972. The Last Day Pompeii, the song of the Stigmata group. Pompeii, the song of the E.S. Posthumous group. Cities in Dust, the song of the Sauxi and the Banshees group. The Last Day Pompeii, the song of Group Escalada. Pompeii, the song of the Bastille Group. The Burning of Rome. Cry for Pompeii. The song of the Virgin Steel Group. Museums. Willigeti, the museum in Malibu. Also far. Write comments. Read comments. Interesting people will tell interesting stories. All of good mood and good luck.